Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today is going to be a special edition. Uh, we'll be going on most of the time um, to test out uh, something I recently got, which is uh, the possibility of charging the BZ4X or any EVs for a matter of fact with a Tesla destination charger. Um, so it's an adapter where you can uh, use the uh, destination chargers from Tesla's to plug into the regular J1772 uh, chargers, uh, which uh, the BZ4X takes. Uh, so just uh, just a reminder, uh, those are level two chargers, so it's not for the superchargers. Uh, so only for 240 um, up to the uh, maximum capabilities of the onboard charger for the uh, BZ4X, which is 6.6 kilowatt. Uh, but if you have any other EVs out there, so the Kia EV6, um, the Ionic 5, ID4s, if you have a higher onboard charger, so it'll be the maximum capability of the Tesla destination charger. So, and I'm, today I'm also trying out something new, guys. I received a few feedback how uh, the sound wasn't clear for most of my videos when I'm moving around a lot or doing uh, modifications in the car. So I'm trying out a microphone, uh, which is the first time. So let me know how the, the, uh, the sound is, um, if it's if it's better uh is the quality good uh are you hearing any background noises let me know i appreciate the feedback um so yeah let me show you what's the uh, what the adapter is and i'll talk to you uh, um, about the company who actually makes it as well so guys this is the uh, adapter uh so it's made from the company a2z ev uh, which is located in quebec in canada uh, it was a few minutes from my house so i actually went straight there and met with the owner as well um explain everything to me on how to use the adapter and um yeah so let's get to it um so it comes with the with this carrying case all of them uh, every time you buy an adapter they do offer this uh, it does have a little bit of protection here um you can take it off or you can just leave it um so what's great about this uh with the adapter guys it's the form factor uh there's a lot of adapters out there on the market uh, and most of them are huge and this on the contrary it's very small some you won't even need the uh the carrying pouch if you don't want to it, it's safer but you could tuck this anywhere in the uh, glove compartment oh actually no we don't have a glove compartment for the bz4x but anywhere you can store this it's a possibility um what's also nice about this adapter it's first of all the build this is metal guys this is solid build right here it's heavy you feel that it's a good material and also the fact that the locking mechanism are integrated within the lock itself i've seen a few locks where you have to get your own padlock to lock this so that was a little funny to me where you have to do your own padlock this is integrated to it so i'm just going to explain you how it works the first lock here is for the tesla um uh, the tesla charger so once you plug in the tesla charger so you're in the open position here once you plug in the Tesla charger, you can lock this. So this locks the um, the charger itself, as you can see. There's a mechanism in here, and it locks it itself. And that's the first step to locking the uh, Tesla charger to the adapter. Afterwards, you have this adapter, to uh, which can also lock to the car. For the BZ4X, you also have the functionality within the car itself. There's a little pin that comes here and keeps the lock locked. So anyone who tries to unlock this while you're charging will not be able to do so. But the only um, disadvantage is the fact that once it's done charging, the BZ4X um, has the capability of unlocking automatically or staying locked. So this, uh, you can bypass that by using these set of keys. So you can actually use these keys and lock this. Um, and once you lock it, no one will be able to take it out from your charging port because this won't go in. So as you can see now, this actually goes in. But once you lock it, let me use the keys here. You just have to turn. So this mechanism goes in and there you go. You can you can't push it more than this. So I really like the fact that this is integrated. Um, so this is the side where you plug in the Tesla charger, and this is the side um, that you put in into the car. So guys, this is, um, like I mentioned, uh, a company in Quebec, but they do ship everywhere. So if you're in the, in the States, if you're in Europe, wherever you are, they'll, they can ship this. Um, there's a warranty as well that comes with this, uh, which is a one-year warranty, I believe. 
uh, they do have some certification. Um, so they have the CE certification for European standards. Uh, they have the FCC. And I believe the ETL is in the process, so it's coming soon. Um, and so far, I've heard good comments about this. And the only reason I got this and I reached out to the company is because um, a lot of people suggested uh, to buy this. Also, if you want to get this, there is a link in the comment section, I mean, in the description below. It is an affiliate, li affiliate link, um, so you will get a discount of 5% on top of the, uh, the price that you already see uh, by using my link here. doesn't matter if you have a BZ4X, whichever EV car you have, you can use that link. Um, and it does help the channel as well, so I'll, I appreciate if you guys uh, use the link if you're planning on buying this. So let's go outside there and try to test this adapter with the tesla charger hey everyone so i'm at uh, the charging station to test the uh, tesla adapter and i figured what best place to test a tesla adapter than at tesla itself um so not far from my house uh, i have a tesla dealership uh, so just figured uh, let's just go after you know after hours usually it's open to the public um, so yeah nothing was closed and uh, there are two adapters I mean two chargers available uh, so yeah I'm just gonna try them out uh, so I'll show you how it works um, and if I follow all the instructions properly uh, it should be uh, a plug-and-play all right let's go outside and uh, try these adapters so we are outside uh, let me just show you the uh, chargers that, that we'll be testing. It's these ones here. There's one uh, right behind me. Um, so these are um, the destina destination chargers. So these are level two chargers. These will work. Um, but the ones further away, I'm just going to show you guys all the way there. Uh, these are superchargers. As of now, these don't work. Uh, Tesla did plan eventually to uh, make it available to all non-Tesla vehicles and you'll eventually need an adapter for that but as of today that's not possible at all uh, so don't even try uh, those are superchargers the ones you want to try is the uh, destination uh, chargers so this adapter will only work uh, with that uh, so I'm just gonna flip the camera and I'll show you guys uh, how it works before we start charging I just want to give you guys a little more details about the uh, adapter itself um, so this is from a company here in Quebec, which is amazing. It's local. Um, it's, uh, it can go up to 80 amperes, 20 kilowatts. Uh, so it's plenty enough for most EVs for level two charging. For the BZ4X, uh, the onboard charger is only 6.6 .6 kilowatt, guys. So it's plenty enough for, you, uh, for us. Uh, but for any other EVs, it's amazing. So Kia EV6, um, you have the Ionic 5, uh, ID4, which can take a little, um, uh, I think, higher charge. So you guys can use these chargers as well. Uh, you'll benefit from the uh, full potential uh, of your onboard charger. So first things first, guys, um, you want to open your port. Since we're doing level two charger, you will need the DC fast charging port here. Uh, so you'll just need the, uh, the first one here, which is the J1772 uh, connector. Uh, so what you want to do is, um, as you can see, this is the Tesla uh, destination charger. Uh, you take out the adapter uh, and then afterwards all you want to do is just connect the Tesla charger on one side and the J772 um, connector to your car. Uh, like I mentioned before, you do have the lock here. So this is for the Tesla lock. So once you connect this, it's going to lock the Tesla charger to this adapter. And the other lock is to lock it to your car. Um, your car does have auto lock as feature as well. So that means once you plug in a charger, you can set the car to lock um, the mechanism. So no one will be able to take it out. So this is just an added precaution, which is, uh, which is pretty good. Um, so what you want to do is once you're at a destination charger, you just want to take out the charger. It just comes off pretty easily like this. Uh, I am doing this with one hand, so I'm just going to try to do this with camera. If it doesn't work, guys, I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm just going to try to show it to you. Hold on. As you can see, you just plug these two together. Let me just put it in. There you go. That went in pretty smoothly and this is where you want to lock this so you can 
you can lock it so this is open and this is lock so right now it's at lock and uh, so it won't come in I mean it won't come out and then afterwards you can lock it as well so let me just put this so now it's unlocked so that means I can take it out I can put it back in but once it's locked it won't come off so what you want to do is you want to wait at least 30 seconds before plugging this in so this is a requirement um, that the owner mentioned me um, that you have to wait 30 seconds in order to avoid any fault uh, faulty connection or even Tesla saying that the charge cannot start because uh, it does not recognize the vehicle itself um, so most of the adapters right out there uh, do have issues uh, compat compatibility issues but this one is one of the best ones I actually work with most of the cars um, but you do have to wait the 30 seconds just to make sure uh, the charger recognizes it so I think it's been uh, around 30 seconds so let's just try to connect this so as you would connect just a little irregular charger just plug it in there you go so the Tesla goes blue and here it should turn green if it recognizes the car there you go the car char started charging and the Tesla distance and charger started charging as well if you want extra confirmation what you can do is you can always go into the car and you can see that it will take around seven hours to charge this car so yeah by the way the charging speed guys it's the uh, the max you'll get is the according to the destination charger uh, but the car itself the BZ4X can only take 6.6 um, .6 kilowatt anyways uh, so that's pretty much what uh, you'll get as for the lock you do have the top lock as I mentioned again but you do also have the cars mechanism inside so I'm just gonna turn on the light here you see this mechanism it won't let you take out this charger anyways but if you if you still want to lock this you have the possibility of doing so so you just have to put the the key in here hold on I think I have it on the wrong side actually it's the other side itself sorry and then you just have to turn this as you can see when you turn this it locks the mechanism here so I'm just gonna try to show you this so even if you wanted to pull this down this is going to block it so that's a pretty good uh, mechanism and it comes with it with the lock itself and not a lot of them have these so this is uh, this is great uh, so that's it folks you are not charging your BZ4X at a Tesla destination charger that's it folks uh, I hope you liked the video I know it was a short one but this is something I want to show you guys and show you that you know you can still charge in Tesla destination chargers uh, with your BZ4X or any other EV uh, for a matter of fact uh, what's good about the fact is uh, most hotels nowadays do have Tesla destination chargers and they don't always have um, regular G1772 chargers so that's kind of unfortunate so having these kind of adapters does help you uh, if you're staying at a hotel and they only have the Tesla destination chargers um, so like 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 always uh, leave the, your comments if you have any uh, feedback you want to give me or any other videos I should be doing uh, please let me know in the comment section below and as for the product itself um, there is an affiliate link at the bottom if you do click on this link uh, you did get 5% off now on top of the existing price and it does help the channel as well um, so yeah I'll see you guys next time